मैं कॉपी में तो नहीं अभी लिखना कुछ दिस वी आर गोइंग टू कॉपी में लिखना सेंसरी इवैल्यूएशन ऑफ फूड सो द ऑब्जेक्टिव्स ऑफ सेंसरी इवैल्यूएशन व्हाई वी हैव टू डू द सेंसरी इवैल्यूएशन ऑफ फूड it explains how various factors they influence the food choices to describe sensory characteristics that affect food preferences and there are so many characteristics that affect our food choices then planning a setting for successful sensory evaluation then explaining the role of sensory evaluation in food industry and explaining the relationship between sensory characteristics and nutrition so these are some of the terms which are we are going to come across uh, when we are going to discuss the sensory evaluation of foods like flavor garnish monosodium glutamate mouth feel olfactory sensory characteristics sensory evaluation sensory panel taste uh, blind taste buds and volatile these are some of the terms which we are going to discuss so actually uh, what happens what actually influences your food preferences the first is culture and geography the second one is your emotions and psychology then the third one is beliefs the fourth one is your health concerns the fifth one food costs and of course the technology these all things they influence actually your food preferences so uh, if you talk about sensory evaluation scientifically testing food usually we do it by human senses of uh, sight smell taste touch and hearing and the sensory characteristics like the qualities of a food are being identified by the senses how it looks how it tastes how uh, you are going to get the smell of that food the sounds and the feels when you eat that food so flavor it's a distinctive quality that comes from a food's unique blend of appearance taste order feel and sound appearance is based on habit and preconceived notions as well whatever you have heard from your dadis or nanis your ancestors your forefathers you have those con uh, conceptions in your mind and you just uh, move towards those conceptions then you are you are th those things are being inscribed in your mind that these things should be like that only if you are going to like uh, the color of uh, crust should be brown then it should be brown only then you are going to like that and garnish it plays a very important role in appearance because it is a decorative arrangement that is being added to the food or drink to uh, make it more appealing to you then uh, taste blind it is uh, actually some, whenever you are having some cold then you are also having the congestion of those taste buds so you are not being unable you are not being able to distinguish between flavors of some foods if you have cold you can't taste your food so your taste buds they are actually located on the various parts of your tongue you are having four taste buds you can see in the picture the bitter one on the back side and salty or sweet taste buds they lie in the front of the tongue and the sour part a uh, sour taste buds lie on the sides of the tongue and in the center there are not many taste buds and uh, there are some flavor enhancers which you are going to add to just enhance the flavor and monosodium glutamate msg which you are also known as a chinese salt it is being added to enhance the salty and the sour taste and the olfactory term it is related to the sense of the smell how do you feel or smell that food and there are some substances which are volatile in nature which means that they vaporizes easily when you are going to heat heat them up or you are going to leave them alone they are volatile in nature they vaporize easily and this is the comparative chart between bitter and sour so uh, some of the food items you feel bitter like coffee bitter melon unsweetened cocoa citrus peels uh, so they are having some unpleasant and disagreeable tastes But while in sour lemon orange they are having sourness uh, taste threshold which can be rated with respect to dilute hydrochloric acid which has a value of 1 this we actually do in industry so the sharp taste that indicates the acidity of the substance 
and uh, taste buds they lie in, on the sides for the sour taste texture in texture you usually come across these uh, terms like it should it can be soft it can be brittle grainy chewy hard tender dry etc like if i talk about breads the crumb should be soft and the crust it should be hard and the crumb should be grainy as well so mouth feel it also plays a very important role in the sensory evaluation how it feels in your mouth sound the crunchy sounds crunchy foods they need to sound crunchy and like crackers if i talk about crackers you never like the crackers which are soggy which are not having the crackling sound so sensory evaluation is being done by a group of uh, panel group of people who evaluate the food samples and there are mainly three groups three main groups are there some are uh, one is the highly trained experts then the lab panel is there and the consumer panel is there so these are the three main groups for evaluating the foods through the senses through the sense organs so this was all about what we discussed in the sensory evaluation part in my previous lecture